Here I'm just using my hammer to try to find the studs in the roof and my goal is to try to drill in my L brackets into the studs so they have a, a better studded connection there. Alright now I'm just trying to measure, get my measurement straight so when my solar panel is done I can basically just uh, slide it up onto these planks here and just go ahead and start screwing things in. And it's wise to have somebody outside with you if you're not really uh, experienced getting on top of the roof and then everything. So just try to be safe about it as well. And you trying to, you know, get to the roofing part. Okay, now I'm just uh, marking my holes for my L brackets as I'm gonna take these wood planks here down and just drilling my holes, my pre-drill my holes in. So when I get back up here, I can easily I spray me some more alpha. Uh, go ahead and screw the screws in. And now I'm just taking a regular uh, marker here and just drawing a line. So when I do put these back on the roof, I can easily just Align it with this line that I'm drawing here. All right, so just to give you a general idea how it looks up close, I uh, basically just have these L brackets that are screwed in here. I have some four inch screws actually going into the roof and I have some two inch, two inch and a half screws going straight into this plywood. And again, this is pressure treated uh, plywood so I didn't need any stainer on it. And plus I wanted to keep it in phase with the design of the yard so that's the reason I haven't painted it any color or anything so that it just matches the yard and uh, when you're actually screwing these into the roof you want to make sure you try to screw them into the studs into the roof it's studs underneath here and all houses have them so if you can I mean it should still be fine if you can't I know for this one over here I couldn't uh, find the stud or it, it was gonna be too wide if I did screw it into the stud in the roof so the four inch, uh, four inch screws should be good enough to hold it down as long as it's sturdy I have just uh, three L brackets on the right side and three L brackets on the left side and I, then I just have these L brackets at the end just to prevent it from uh, sliding down if it ever did and basically all I did was I just measured across just to make sure that my panel could fit on top of here before I even put it on the roof. So I took out my measurements before I even put it up here. So then when I put my panel up here, I could just basically drill into those uh, plywoods that I drilled on the back of the panels and drill them straight down on these little planks here. And that should do it. And then I just have to drill a hole inside the roof for the cords to actually fall down in through there. And that'll probably be it after we just get some type of sealant for the hole, it's uh, some roofing type ceiling that you can get. All right, so I finally mounted it onto the roof. Uh, the process is fairly simple. That's why I really haven't went into detail or showed you how I actually did it. It's nothing really fancy to it. So just take a trip up here. Just give you a closer look of 
I don't know how it looks. And basically, uh, for now I just have two screws and I'm gonna put more screws on the other plywood as well when I get finished. Actually filming this, but this is up here temporarily. And the thing that I found out after talking to a couple of people who built their solar panels out of wood is uh, plexiglass uh, will start to flex and maybe bend inward or bow in. Um, sometimes moisture get in it as well. That's what I was having a problem with earlier. And a couple of people were telling me that uh, no matter what they did, moisture still got in it because it's pretty hard to seal it up with just average tools that you found around your home or in local stores so uh basically they said that uh solar panel still worked even though it was moisture in here i'm not sure if you can see it or see the boring that's it's having an effect on it but it still worked i i checked the voltage and the current and everything is still checking out so i'm just gonna monitor it for a while but this is basically it and underneath here as you can see I drilled a hole in the roof and that's where my positive and negative connections are coming from. Out of that junction box that I had. And I haven't really finished actually hooking it up inside the shed how I'm going to have it. It's just basically in there hooked up temporary in a temporary spot. And I'll probably just show you that later on. And I'm actually going to put a side board up here to match the actual shed. So it just give it a nicer look again. I'm not really done with this part, but I just wanted to give you an idea how, how it all fit together and everything. I basically have finished uh, my solar panel on the roof and everything. Uh, I actually added a couple of more features to it just to help it match the yard. Nothing special, but I just uh, wanted to tie it into the rest of the yard to make it match. And it wouldn't really, again, throw the whole yard off. So depending on how you want to go about your solar panel, uh, it's going to vary from this point on. But I'll just go ahead and give you a general overview of how it looks inside, how I have it hooked up and everything. Alright, so here is where it's actually coming inside here. And this black stuff that you see around is just some uh, roof and cement that you can get again from your home improvement store, Walmart, Lowe's, somewhere like that. And I just filled up the hole with that. And I just have my junction box wires coming down here. And again, I just have those hooked up to some um, 22 gauge wires. And it's just running along this line here. It's a fairly simple hookup. But what I actually did here, because I just wanted some way to switch this on and off, was I uh, installed just some regular light switches that you will hook up in your home. And these aren't, you know, the regular standard way of turning off the whole power to the solar panel, but I just wanted to experiment with it since I never actually hooked one of these up. And basically, this one here controls the all the power to the my whole solar system. So if I turn this off, my, whole L, my LED light goes off. And the reason I installed that is just because I didn't want to have to run all the way inside just to see if my power was actually off or actually hook up a digital multimeter to the system to see if I was getting any voltage or current. So again, if I turn this back on, power is running through my whole system now. And this one here just controls my LED light if I ever just wanted to turn that off. Or eventually I might just hook up a light out here and I can just replace the LED light with just a, a LED a bulb or some type of light source that I can put inside the shed here if I ever want to. So that just controls the LED light. And that's the basic hookup to that. And coming down here is just my ground connection and that's just running outside. And from this top little tube here is just running outside my shed. Hey guys, to speed up the process of me getting the rest of the videos out, just subscribe to this video as it does show me you guys are interested and I try to speed up the process of getting the rest of the videos out as I do have to edit these and I do try to make them interesting. So again, just subscribe to the video and I try my best to get them out a little quicker for you guys.